Hello everybody, Bubbles Sester here and welcome back to Heart Titan 4. In today's video we've got ourselves an interesting little challenge to do. We as Siam, Thailand, will be attempting to reform the Ratikanosin Empire. So let's begin, shall we? Now we are going to have to flip ideology as soon as possible, so let's immediately disband our army. For our research, we're going to need a good navy, so let's start off by getting early sub holes and transport ships. For our civs, we're just going to be building in the north with some infrastructure. This is a temporary thing, it's just because Northern Malay is the only other state we have and that will go to the rebels, so no need to build anything there because we won't get it. But anyway, let's do naval efforts, go to speed 5 and begin. Convoys and supply is going to be ever so important today. So now that naval effort is done, let's do political effort. And with the extra dockyards that we've gotten, let's just build convoys for now. Once we get our sub, we sure we'll start building it, but for now we don't have it. Oh, we already have a deficit of steel. Oh, well, let's buy some then. Italy? Sure. There goes political effort. Let's not do a focus for a moment and hire ourselves the brown demagogue. We already have enough support to already prepare for civil war, so let's also do expand civil support. We're going to need to ignite our revolution as soon as possible. And other research at this point, you can just do electronics industry and so on. Obviously, make sure you upgrade your army uh, when the time is right. And the time has come. Barely halfway into the first year of this game. Let's begin. There we go. Let's train up 10 units. For max priority, one of one run. Place them down there. As soon as they deploy, we'll walk in. Anyway, now that we are the ideology, we can, in a moment, get good, better relations with Italy. And we'll get military access and non-aggression pack, so we can get a tiny bit of land lease from them at this point. We'll need everything we can get. And there, with those two things, we now have enough relations with Italy to have them start supplying us with guns. There we go, 900. Not much, but better than none. Anyway, full focus. Still no focus. We're just going to quickly finish up this other Siam. Who knows, maybe we'll do a focus for us, but I don't know. Pull your unit. Wait 24 hours so it has all, and now we'll just walk it into the only victory point they have. Almost forgot to start building our new sub, but let's also do that now. There we go, this is the cheapest sub you can make, basically a bathtub. <laughs> Cost 390, there we go. We'll put two dockyards on that for now, so we have a few more convoys coming through. So they managed to deploy a unit, but... Oh dear, this is not going to go well, is it? Oh well, I did expect that, so let's just pour another unit. And prepare to neighbor invade that one tile. That is annoying, but what can you do? Right, we now have plenty of political power, so let's start justifying on Oman. And start justifying on the Dutch East Indies. There we go. Just wanted to have plenty. And now we'll do industrial effort. And there we go. That took longer than it should have, but whatever, we got there in the end. With a few extra force attacks. <laughs> uh, this game sometimes, man, this game. But anyway, let us uh, go to Germany and ask for an alliance. And what do you know, they said yes. So immediately we're going to send the fleet all the way to Wilhelmshaven. Because for some reason they have all the range for that. Similarly, we're going to send all our units there too. So with these units that you can deploy, have them deploy to a fallback line somewhere like here. So we even have 20 XP spare. So you know what? Let's go for the best of the best with our Naval Academy. I don't think I'll need Naval XP. I know, famous last words, but that could be fun to look at. So you know what? Let's get our, ourselves an Admiral. Hmm, not bad. Can we get even better? Apparently not. So... You. Because you had free attack. In the past, I would have justified on Spain, as many of you will remember, but mm, Spain is usually not the best these days, especially for Siam, though, what we're doing. Spain usually falls a lot earlier, so Oman will be better for us in the long run, I think. They're so small, they'll never have more than one or two units, we'll get them. You know, let's also go for concentrated industry. The output, I like just as much as anything else. For our next few focuses, we're just going to be doing all of the armament efforts. 
Hmm. Your choice on what to do about the anti current Pact. Germany is obviously already allied to you, so it doesn't really matter. If you accept it, you can decrease your chances of getting Soviet Lend-Lease. But of course, the Soviet Lend-Lease is not really good these days. But you know what? I've never seen Germany kick me from the facts of refusing the anti current Pact, so I am going to refuse it. <laughs> With your extra mills, just spam out artillery. Just artillery. And we also have enough command power and political power to go for some military high command, so we're going to go with the logistics guy first. XP and all of that will be unsurprisingly useful as usual. Let's go for another military high command, you know what, the offence guy? Really got to stack those bonuses today. War of Oman is less than 30 days away, so let's improve relations with whoever it needs to be. I have to improve with Germany despite being in a faction with them because of the anti common turn pact. In an ideal world, you get something like a brilliant strategist, infantry leader, or so on you could use as your field marshal, but I've gone pretty unlucky with my roles, so this career officer will have to do. Anyway, for research, there is one more thing you will probably have to grab at some point, and that's civilian trains, because just like Mexico, we start with a railway network, but don't have any trains. I don't know, on that one. And anyway, there's our justification for Oman. Let's declare on them. There we go. Just have as many units as you can to go and ask for as much as as you can get. This is to say that Union will only have artillery to give you. We're going to do this. We're going to create a dupe and make a template like this and then spam that out instead so the Soviets can actually be of use to us. If we don't have one more day. There we go. Now our relations are high enough for the Soviets. We'll take your artillery since that's all you have. But of course do that with Germany and Italy and so on. We were doing Oman first instead of the Dutch East Indies so that our units in the field could be as supplied as possible. And with the armament efforts, we're just going to go all the way down to extra research slot, construction effort free, and so on. And of course, every month, refresh your lend lease so you can get as much as you can. Right, we don't have long until our invasion of the Dutch East Indies slash the Netherlands is underway, so let's prepare our naval invasions. We're just going to hit Amsterdam, the Haag, Rotterdam, and the Tower beneath it. Hopefully the Netherlands should just garrison the German border and we should just walk in. But luckily, if that isn't the case, our units are more than strong enough to break their tiles. So we'll have three on the main victory points, and then two for the support bits. Something like that. I mean, worst case scenario, we can always call in Germany. <laughs> And there's our justification on the Dutch East Indies, so let's immediately just declare. And unsurprisingly, we leave port immediately. The Dutch are really bad at putting their navy out. Thank you. As I expected, something in Rotterdam. Looks like we'll break it though a lot easier than Crusader Kings ever was. Right, let's come on, dear, the civilian trains really get our stability down. Come on, we can just about break it. One more day. And there we go. That should do it. Whew. Well, that took a lot longer than I anticipated it to. But hey, it worked out in the end. So unsurprisingly, just pop it the Dutch East Indies, pop it everyone else. More sieves and so like that. And there we go. I guess on the positive, that could show how even if you have a bad naval invasion, you can still get it in the end. Anyway, let's disband this army. It's no longer needed. And then let's make a new army out of the Dutch East Indies units. So division designer... And Siamese East Indies, and yep, this will be our infantry template to start with. Let's remove that support equipment. Yeah, I'm going to remove it. Anyway, we're going to make artillery, and there we go, a 21 width block, but unsurprisingly, with support artillery, so something like this. Not the worst template I've done. It's actually standard, actually, and it's pretty good. There we go, saved, and now let's train up a whole load of them. How many? Let's see with how far 94 can get us, but something like 120, maybe 144 will do. But now is where we just ask and ask and ask and ask and ask for however long it needs to be asked for. Unfortunately, there aren't many other countries that can help you at this point, because right now tension is so low, non-aligned countries won't help you. Maybe I should ask for Japan's help. Yeah. Let's see. And let's go for Professional Officer Corps. Gives more XP so we can use more XP. Yeah, I guess Japan can help us a little bit. Can't complain about that. 
150 critical power, so let's go to partial mode. We'll go to war economy, but we don't have the support for that, and we're going to be like this for a long time. So may as well just take the partial mode. Uh, finally, the Soviets have some infantry equipment again. It's been a long time since that has been so. There we go, that's a bit more like it. So here are our first 23 divisions. And now the first 72 of them are going to be sent to Europe. So let's just make them a few little stacks. There we go, one army group. There we go. Something like that, and have them deploy into it. Once that is filled up, then we'll start focusing on other stuff. When your own puppet of the Empire of the Dutch Antilles is providing your convoys, that's how you know you're taking in a lot of stuff. <laughs> what a flag, though. We're also going to give ourselves an unsurprisingly flexible orc. It's my favourite of those spirits. Anyway, let's build this little supply hub. Unsurprisingly, we are going to have to use reorganise the railway system as we do not have the sieves or the ability to build it otherwise. Of extra research sort, we may as well just run down the doctrine efforts. May as well. I don't really see any focuses we need to do at this point. That could be as beneficial to us. Now Hungary's flip thigh geology. Get, get yourself mill access and non-aggression packs and they'll help you from the start. And finally, with our next round of physical power, we'll go for a silent workhorse because we should have done that ages ago. But whatever. Anyway, in more positive news, we filled out the first three armies. So what where the units are going to deploy to now is Siam itself, because unsurprisingly, we need to defend it. We'll have one army face British Raj, and we'll have another army face French Indochina. And if we can, we'll have some units around British Malaya. Hence the supply hub, which is going to take forever to build. If you had support equipment used in your divisions, you could get that too, but I don't think it'll be the deciding factor in whether or not we lose or win today. I mean, I thought I had to restart when we were doing the naval invasion of the Dutch, so, you know, things change. <laughs> Another classic today, though, we are unsurprisingly doing superior firepower. Been a while, actually, since I needed to say that, but it's true. <laughs> I've started to train up an extra army. This extra army can be for whatever I will need it to be. It's sufferance, I suppose. This is all one weird situation. Imagine you, an Indonesian, fighting in the Siamese army against Oman, who's in Soviet artillery pieces, with German, Dutch, and Italian guns. And eventually you're going to be shipped all the way over to Europe to fight. I'm going to split the army of Siam forces in two, just so it's a bit easier for me to manage. So there we go. We have 48 units to defend it, for now at least. On the same fallback line though. All like this. To defend all our borders. Huh. Well, this is a surprise to be sure, but a welcome one. We've solved our gun deficit. But I can't resist just continuing to do it again as much as I can get. At least a little longer. Can't hurt. 70 days? Yeah, I think. Two more or so, and then we're done. And let's also actually prepare to take out them on. No need to have them into the Allies. We can take them. So, from this little port, Medan, in the Siamese East Indies, we'll hit Muscat and this tile here, and I'll do another naval invasion to hit this tile. They're split in two, and there we go. How many units does Oman even have at this point? Oman has no more than two, so yeah, there it'll probably be there. They won't be able to stop us for long. And there's the rest of them. <laughs> Six of them will just defend on British Malaya, but the others, yeah, I'll just have them in Siam. Right, let's go. I think we've waited long enough for this. I split the navy in two so we can just about get enough supremacy in all the sea zones. Look at that. This is going to be a long trip for these guys. There we go, just split it off the stub from the destroyer and that gave the supremacy. The problem is obviously you take the supremacy from your largest ship. Well, they're attacking us, we might... These units are almost unnecessary. They arrive and they're already almost broke. And that's it for Oman. After several years, <laughs> we finally got down our hardest foe. There they go. Puppeted Omani Empire. Very nice. Now you guys get back to Siam. God, look at that supply. It is not good. Let's see if at the very least building a little railway can alleviate it a little. Should have bought, built another supply up. 
but let's make sure we send the navy all the way back to World Harp and they no longer now need to be in the Indian Ocean. They're only there literally for that little bit of supremacy for us to get the Omani Empire. For focus, I'm just going down to ideological fanaticism, mostly for the, honestly, just the core attack. Really going for train production now, because that seems to be what we need. And this is what we managed to get in the end, which I'd say is pretty good. Back to the supplies, guys. Anyway, Molotov Ribbentrop Pact, right about now. So 70 days to go before Danzigal War. Right, let's plan our naval invasions. Can't really go for the channel, not a good idea. So we're going to go for Hull and Newcastle with two units on each naval invasion. That give us just enough to get in. Obviously have units to be able to support the tiles next to the ports, we we'll need to break them. But something like that will do. Germany's declared and will call us in. But I'm not ready with these naval invasions, so we'll just wait a little while longer. Right, let's go. Strike force in the relevant sea zones, activate naval invasion, bring the camera back because it decided to fly all, all over the map, and accept call to arms. We'll lose the supremacy now. So now let's call Italy in so it can be useful to us. When it comes to the formable nation though, we just need to begin to take victory points and tiles. So like to control Cambodia, we basically just need that, so go for it. Obviously for but Laos will need this victory point and a few other tiles because it's not enough. But for now, we'll just try to encircle units and keep moving. And the main thing though, the invasion is to hope we get the supremacy. Yeah, hope is not a good thing in a situation like this, but it's basically the situation we found ourselves in. And we have taken control of Cambodia, so only Laos to go. Germany has just pushed right through the Maginot. What? Oh god, is this... Mega Germany or something. And I think that's enough. Yes, we could stamp in the Ratikanosin heritage. There we go. We've already done it. Nice. Did that give us any extra factories or anything? No, but more recruitable pop, so you... that's a positive. Uh, let's try and capture something like Hanoi then and continue to encircle these French units. But at this point, the main part of this is done. I just hope we can get the supremacy over Britain to invade them. Might not, though. <laughs> Germany has gone right through Maginot, but can't take Poland. And Poland finally falls with our help. Oh, our neighbor invasion is left, and I didn't even notice. We've just got the supremacy. Good. The AI should be spread out, but I'm expecting... Yep, there it is. Forced attack, let's go. Took a while, but... Oh, well. Sometimes it does. There, we've made it. We've got our port. There, let's summon the rest of them now. I think we'll go for a standard encirclement of London. Usually does the trick, doesn't it? You can also get you, Castle, that'd be great. <laughs> Meanwhile, uns the AI is trying to push. Us, but let's see if we can. No, unsurprisingly, we can't, but we're quite strong here. We'll have this other army clean up here, and then we'll eventually push the rest away. And France falls. And some of that actually goes to Vichy, which is all very confusing. Well, Germany capitulated France before they took Paris. Damn. The UK actually looks very lightly defended, so it looks like we're going to have a very fun time of it. We're already at the gates of London now. Just need to encircle it. Anyway, London is encircled now. Hopefully the UK continues to spam units and we'll get all the war score. We already have the same amount that Italy does, so we must be doing something right. Cut this unit off, those few units will die, and let's try and take British Malaya. And the UK is putting out units. Good. Don't know why so many of these units are leaving, though. I don't know when I put an army group 1 order here, but I clearly did. Great. Now, let's justify Vichy so we can actually get those states. I, 
Losing Indochina to Vichy would be a bit of a shame, so let's get them. And since we're in the Axis, we'll be okay for that. Already 37% now. This is going very good for us. Although we are a bit encircled here, but then again so are they, so we'll break out soon enough. British Malaya has basically fallen. Eh, yeah, can't be bothered to go all the way to Borneo to break them out. So our artillery stockpiles were screaming at us. Right, let's get Vichy involved. There you go. They joined the Allies. But we now lead this peace conference, which is good. Looks like the AI is pumping out units, but we do have a problem. The wards haven't merged properly. I'm trying to call in Germany against Vichy, but this is all a bit annoying now. You know what, let's just finish this. We, we lead the conference, that's good enough. And there we go. And as I expected, Vichy is not involved, so this is going to be very confusing. But for now, we'll just take what we can, especially our cores, things like British Malaya. Maybe we'll get bits of India. But don't forget, we can do things like cheap puppets, take all states and take the cheapest one, puppet them there. There we go, cheap UK puppet. This peace deal is going to be a complete mess because me and Germany have almost the same amount of war score. You know what, to try and limit Vichy's stuff, let's puppet Free France in Paris, and that should solve most of our problems, probably. And that should do it. Looks alright, apart from the border guard in Pakistan. We took 45, Germany took 64, and we've got the UK as a puppet. And so many things, but most annoyingly, Vichy is now the major of... It all. Oh god, what's going to happen now? Because in theory, Vichy should be annexed by Free France, well, or National Francais. Yeah, I'm still technically calling Italy and Germany to arms against Vichy. And they said, no, let's summon everyone else then. Well, that's that cleaned up. Now, let's finish off by invading Corsica and Algeria. Two by two, and we'll get Vichy. Might have to invade Corsica, like I think, but would hope not to. But hey, at least I have Britain and the other France inside for the supremacy part of this. Naval supremacy. Right, let's do this. Vichy retook Leon, so I'm going to have to take it. And that should be the end of them. Good. Thanks for your help, Italy and Germany. Now let's take Tonkin to clean up that border gore. And I think I'll just give everything else to our other French puppets. And that's the end of that. But, oh well. In the end, we did get the Ratikanosan Empire. Don't like this little border gore, but I couldn't do much about that. But, this was a pretty fun form of nation. Taking Siam from its tiny two states to being one of the majors of the world is always pretty fun when you get a situation like that. Our front was, well, just attrition. It's all just attrition. <laughs> But, it got broken, we have now all of the powerful puppets we could need. Japan will eventually come after us, but we can take them, no problem. This challenge was one of the options in the poll we did, and I thought it was a pretty interesting one. It lost the poll, but I thought, oh, why not, it seemed popular enough, so here we are. If you have any suggestions for future guides, challenges, formables, anything of the sort, do feel free to leave them in the comments below. But until next time everybody, this has been me, Bubble Zest, playing Siam, Thailand, forming the Ratakonosan Empire. Sorry if I mispronounced this the whole time. But until next time everybody, good bye.